Hey guys, Mix here, and in today's video, we are going to be starting something very, very exciting that I've been looking forward to for months now, and that is we are going to be trying to paint the Corvette uh, ourselves, myself. You guys are going to be along for the ride and the learning curve. So if you guys don't remember from a couple months back, I went out and got some quotes for the Corvette, and being that it is fiberglass, it's very expensive. It's not like a normal steel car paint job. It's like 10 to 15 grand, easy. And there's just no way that I'm gonna pay that much for a paint job. Like that's literally a whole new car. And I'm not looking for a crazy showroom quality paint job. I am looking to, you know, have it nice, but not 15 grand nice. Jeez. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm not gonna jump straight into doing the entire car. What I am gonna be doing is just doing one T-top at a time and experimenting just with this and kind of learning along the way. And then if I'm confident enough on how I did with the T-tops, then I'll go ahead and kind of just dive into it and try and uh, get this thing looking nice once again. This is something I want to learn. So even if it takes a couple tries to get it right, you know, I'm not gonna be like aggravated with myself or anything like that, but obviously I'm gonna need some supplies and I already have a list right here. So first off, I'm definitely gonna need an air compressor, obviously, uh, because I'm not gonna be doing no like spray paint or nothing like that. I am going to get automotive paint and try and do it the right way. With that, I need an air hose. I need the spray gun and the spray gun filter to keep out any uh, like water particles and dust particles. And along with that, new filters for my mask an air compressor filter, which is different from a spray gun filter. This goes onto the air compressor and just kind of uh, keeps any particles from coming out of the compressor itself. And then the spray gun filter is right before the spray gun and that'll catch anything else that may have gotten through. Drop down cloth. So don't mind the stuff flying on the uh, NASCAR right now, but I'm going to be doing the T-tops in here. And basically what I'm gonna be doing is doing a drop cloth, you know, on along all of the walls and probably the floor to keep it nice and clean here and in the doorway. And then I'm gonna use the box fan to, uh, as my fan to vent out any dust and anything that may be in here. I've been looking at like DIY paint boots that people do in their driveway when they do jobs like this. So that's where I'm getting my uh, inspiration from. And then hopefully if this comes out good and we do the whole entire car, maybe I can rent out like a garage or something or maybe just do like a carport with the drop down cloths and everything like that. But we'll just see when that time comes. And then real quick along with that, I'm gonna need 120 grit uh, sanding blocks, a lint free cloth to wipe it down, 1200 grit for after, once the primer's on, painter's tape, a work stand, which would be ideal, basically just for like the uh, T-tops, and body filler applicator, which is just these little tiny flat things that you just kind of use in case you need body filler. Honestly, the whole Corvette is pretty straight besides the very front. As you guys can see, the very front here, uh, is pretty cracked up. So once I sand this down, I'm gonna see how bad it is and then see how we can go, go about uh, repairing this. All right, guys, so right now I'm going to be heading to Harbor Freight and Home Depot. Luckily, they're actually right next to each other, so very convenient. And we are gonna be doing our supplies run, even if I, uh, don't end up painting it because it comes out really bad. The most expensive thing I'm gonna be doing, buying today is the air compressor and I've always needed one, so it's not a complete loss. I'd just be uh, at a complete loss for the spray gun. I could always use the sanding blocks and the automotive paint will deal with tomorrow. So I just have to call up the place, but right now it's too late because I've actually been cleaning out the shed all day because it was a mess. Dang, and it might have to get gas. Oh, it's gonna be expensive couple hours, that's for sure. So I actually found a uh, paint shop that does computer uh, color matching. Because I do want to paint the Corvette the same color, but I cannot find a paint coat for it. Because it is a really nice blue in the areas that it is nice, which is basically just the door jams and, well, the passenger side door. I do want to call them up tomorrow and see, um, it's a little far away for the Corvette, and see if I could just like literally just peel off a piece of tape uh, paint and just give it to them and if they can match it. Because on the passenger door where the paint is actually pretty good, it is peeling in the one spot. So I can easily just rip it up and then just give them the paint chip and be like, will this work? If not, then I probably will f end up just driving it there because there's nothing really I could take off and give to them that will give them a good, you know, thing to match off of. Like it would be easy to give them the T-top, but the T-top has zero clear coat on it. 
So it really wouldn't be a great match. So I'm just gonna get some gas right now, and then I'll probably head to Harbor Freight first and pick up the couple things that I need from there. I got a little bit more than I thought, but that's a uh, Harbor Freight for you. You go in with a list and you come out with more stuff and that was on your list. So now we're Hotel Home Depot. Alrighty guys, so I know it's really dark. I wasn't able to pick up everything that I needed because I forgot to get something at Harbor Freight. So I'm not gonna rush it. I'm just gonna wait until tomorrow. And if I have to order stuff online, then I will. But I got the air compressor in the back. Everything just piled up all here. So I'm probably gonna catch back to you guys tomorrow. Once it's bright out, I'll show you everything that I got. And then I'm probably gonna end up uh, coming back here or Harbor Freight or both and uh, pick up the remaining stuff that I need. So with that being said, I'll catch you all tomorrow. All right, guys, so we are back here the next morning. And as you can see behind me, I just threw everything in here last night. Got the uh, air compressor kind of staged up or where I think I want to keep it. Either this side or this side. I'm not too sure yet. Basically, you guys already know what I got. But some extra things that I got was I just had to get this $10 special at Harbor Freight. It's got a bunch of just random stuff that I'll probably need down the road. So I kind of splurged on that. And some stuff that I planned on getting at Home Depot, I was able to get cheaper at Harbor Freight, like the uh, air filter for the compressor and the spray gun filter. I just got like a couple strainers for the paint, the clear uh, plastic sheets to keep the room dust free, and basically just the random stuff like that. But uh, what I want to do right now is test out this compressor, fill it up and make sure that uh, she's all good to go. But I actually have some good news. So... Originally, I said that the paint shop that I planned on going to to get the supplies and everything. And oh yeah, I wasn't able to get the sanding stuff at Home Depot because they really didn't have anything like that. But I did find a like full-blown automotive paint supply store right in the town next to me. So I can even take the Corvette there and try and get a paint match there. And then while I'm there, I should be able to get like this, all the sanding stuff, primers, the sealers, the paint, everything like that, the clear coat. Hopefully everything I need. So we might run there a little bit later on today and uh, check out what they have. But in the meantime, let's fire this thing up. Hopefully it's not too loud. It is still pretty early. I guess I'll run through the uh, instructions real quick. Make sure that there aren't any steps I have to do first. I just have to pull this. Check drain valve, which is closed. We should be good to fire it up. Oh. <laughs> it's definitely pretty loud. Eh, it's a weekday, everyone's at work. <laughs> Alright, so it's at about 100 already, so I'm just gonna shut it down there. And right now I'm just gonna set up uh, like the airline, uh, you know, put on the fittings and everything, make sure everything is all good there. And then I'll probably try and use it to uh, air up the Corvette tire, because that's flat. The driver's side front has like a little tiny leak. Hopefully I have enough airline. I was thinking about getting two, but I don't know. We'll just see. All right, so I got pretty much just, you know, some of the basic stuff just all plumbed up with Teflon tape and everything like that. And I didn't realize that this is a whole another 25 feet, so I definitely should make it to the Corvette. And I'll see if this thing will uh, burst or not. Let's put some air into it. Oh, yeah, I hear it. I've started with 50 PSI. Let's bring this thing out to the Corvette and see how far it can stretch and how good it fills up. Heck yeah. This has been much needed, that's for sure. I think this kit actually even came with a uh, tire pressure gauge too. Not bad for 10 bucks. Harbor Freight, if you want to sponsor me, just uh, hit me up. Oh yeah, the old finger gauge. Just had about 30, 35. Put a little more in her. Perfect. So now let's see how the compressor did. So that tire was probably at, I'd say probably like nine PSI. Now it's at like 35 and it went down from 100, about 10 PSI. It's still holding perfect at 50, just where I set it. So that's awesome. So I'm just gonna lower this back down. Let 
and then I'll disconnect. So guys, what I think I'm gonna do right now is just gather a list of everything I need from the automotive uh, paint supply store. So I'm just gonna write that up real quick and then we'll just probably end up taking the Corvette down there and maybe even seeing if they can match the paint while it is there. So unfortunately, it's they don't have any sanding blocks. You have to order them online. I wish that there were stores nowadays where you could just like buy stuff in store and not need to order it and then wait. But it looks like I'm gonna just have to uh, order it, which might just be better because I know I'll have everything that I need. I'll just have to wait a little bit longer. But at least we have all the supplies and tools that I believe I'm gonna need to start out. And hopefully next time, once all the like sanding stuff comes in and like the sealers, primers, and maybe even base coat, then we could get started on beginning with the T-top and then learning from there. So guys, with that being said, I'm gonna be ending it off here. Just a quick supplies run video and beginning the first steps of what will hopefully be to transform this thing into a nice looking car. So guys, with that being said, follow my social medias. They'll be on the outro of this video, Instagram and Snapchat, I use the most, but thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, comment, tell your friends, with the channel.